I had hunts in my Super Slam that were difficult. I had hunts in my Super Slam that were easy. But my hardest hunt, the toughest hunt that I had in the Super Slam was my Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep in the Canmore Bow Zone. All sheep species live in some pretty uh, mountainous country, cliffs and, and stuff like that. Uh, the bighorn, uh, I feel, is, is one of the tougher ones to hunt, and part of it is, is uh, they're hard to see, the, the color of their body. Sheep are kind of the holy grail of the hunting world. Uh, they are difficult from the standpoint of the country they live in. It's not easy to get to them for the most part. The, even on a guided hunt, there's a fair amount of physical effort on the part of the hunter. Canmore Bozone of Alberta is near Calgary in the Banff National Park. It's an area that's specifically bow only. Man, it's snowing hard. <laughs> that's right. But this is good sheep weather. Let's get up top. You can hunt these sheep in a window of time in October and November, but the best time is during November, during the rut. It's a phenomenal hunt. It's a rugged hunt. It's like a polar bear hunt because it's so cold. The snow is a foot, two foot deep. Uh, you're hunting at 10,000 feet in November in Canada. I mean, there is a lot of time spent just sitting and glassing, and you can glass and glass and glass a, a mountainside for hours, and you just swear there's not a single sheep in that, and all of a sudden there's one, there's two, then there's 12 rams there, or, you know, and, and it's just kind of amazing how they will appear. Let's sneak over there and see if we can get a shot. When you see your first sheep, it, it is always a sensation of they are so majestic, but also they're so far away and they're in such difficult terrain. I just don't see how I could ever get one, and certainly not with a bow and arrow. The uh, sensation when you finally do get close to them and you're finally right in their world with them and interacting with the sheep is uh, it's like none other. Good run. Susie comes up from behind that tree. It took 14 days for us to get it done. 14 hunting days. I missed sheep. Go to full draw on a sheep at 50 yards and shoot and watch the wind carry the arrow off into the snow. Never to find the arrow again, never to touch the sheep and that watch the sheep bound off. Finally, on the 14th day, we had watched from a distance three rams go down into the trees. Uh, we just saw a glimpse of them go in there and we knew it was going to take us about 30 minutes to get over there. My guide was Chad Lenz and the cameraman Jeff Parker. We were basically a team at this point. After 14 days, we were in love with each other and we hated each other all in the same breath because we knew that we had to get it done. We knew we had what it took to get it done, but it just wasn't coming together for us. But when we saw these rams go into the trees, we knew that we had to get down there. This is right where those three rams went in. They had a hot view, so usually when they go in the timber, they come back the same trail. So we'll just go up in here, set up, and hopefully they come back up. Okay. Sheep hunting in the Canmore Bow Zone, when the end of November rolls around, season is over. The hunt is done. So you have to get up there every day, you have to find your sheep, and you have to stalk as close as you can and make your shot. Even in full snow camo, stalking these sheep, they see you. There's just a blanket of snow over everything, and so it's black and white up there, and that makes that hunt very tough. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna go far. 
Oh man. Savage, we did it. It's going down now. It's going down. <laughs> oh wow. What a hunt. 14 days. He's a nice one too. Yep, good round. Good round. Yes! Big horn sheep. 14 days, zero weather plus. What a hunt. This is the hardest hunt I've ever been on. <laughs> Up and down these mountains. What an outfitter. What a honker. <laughs> oh my God. Man, that's a big ramp, Tom. Yes. Oh, look at this. What a beauty. Oh man, he's, look at this. Oh, he's a big one. <laughs> huh. Savage. Thank you so much. You bet. What an incredible hunt. 14 days up and down these mountains. Frigid temperatures. This is probably the hardest hunt I've ever been on, if not the hardest. I mean, it's been cold, 14 days, climbing the mountains, slipping, falling, sliding, breaking my bow, missing sheep, almost there, trying to get it on video. Tough job. You know, there's a lot of things that goes on behind the scenes on an Advantage Adventure show. And I've got the little camera here, never done it before. Behind the scenes of a big horn hunt. Jeff Parker running the camera. You might remember Jeff. <laughs> he was a whitetail country pro. The very first one. He wanted to be a cameraman. Look what it's become. Big horn sheep hunting, man. Look at this beautiful big horn ram. Canmore, Alberta. The culmination of hard work on Jeff Parker's part, on Chad Savage Lenz's part, and me sticking with it and not giving up was a determining factor on that hunt. Just an amazing animal, the bighorn sheep. And it, on my wall, I look at it and I realize the hard work that was involved to, to get that, that sheep and the satisfaction that I had when we finally got up to him and held the, those big uh, horns and knew that we had, we had accomplished our goal to arrow a big, bighorn sheep.